guys, welcome back to A Current Household. It's been a while, I believe, the last time we were here. We were with um, Penny, Cammy, and they had their three children, I believe. I don't remember their stages of age, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go over them anyways. So, if you haven't seen my previous videos for current houses, I'll check them out so you understand a little bit better. But if you haven't, that is okay. This here is Cammie Goth. Um, I played her since she was a little girl. Um, yeah, so she lives here with her wife Penny. They moved into the city. Um, complicated story. You can check out the last video. I don't feel like explaining theirs again because they're not as important anymore. I mean, they are, but they're not my heirs. So. But she has a city native aspiration. She is actually now level 8 in the cherry or organize what is this career what career is this protester yeah um she actually is pretty high up there uh it took me a while to get this 5,000 in donations but I also wasn't focusing on it her skills have gone up there too charisma and clicking is pretty high um friendship wise she knows a lot of people she's actually friends with quite a bit of People, a lot are actually dead, like Victor, Josh, her parents have both died. Um, friends from work, that's her brother, she actually is still really good friends with. Um, and she's got two romantic interests, but one only current, so, which is her wife. Look at all their little things there, soulmates, best friends, spouse, lovers. Yeah, Salem, or Solemn, was her old, um, boyfriend, but... Yeah, it still says they're soulmates, but they're not. I mean, they, they could have been, but they're not. Okay, you need to go pee. Everyone's sick in this household. Ugh. So then we have Penny Pizzazz, who you probably know from your game. She ended up marrying Cammy. She looks pissed off right now. It's because she's sick. But um, she's still working on that friend of the world aspiration. She's actually level 10 in the internet career. This is freaking awesome. We make so much money because of her. Um, and her skills are phenomenal. Look at these. She's very much a video gaming comedy girl. Uh, um, but relationships, she's got quite a bit as well. She actually dislikes a few people. Don't know why, but she does. Um, actually, she doesn't have a lot of current friends anymore. Only her family. How sad. It's because I don't stay current with her friends, but she does have friends. Um, I don't know what this is about. What the heck? But... We're just going to ignore it. <laughs> and, um, she's romantic, ambitious, outgoing, and a home turf. What's home turf? She doesn't have the city native. I mean, she does, but I don't understand. Wait, wasn't someone in the bathtub? Oh my god, her daughter's in there. Do not go in. She's nude. She's nude. Don't go in there. Go use her bathroom, which she should have been using in the first place. But she wasn't. Um, let me actually get her to come out and have her, um, change so she's not nude because I'm not awkward, but we'll have her change, uh, her third level. So she's going to change real quick. Um, yeah, that's fine. But our other child, if you guys forgot, his name is Jackson. Let me show you him. He is bright. Here, his picture isn't showing up, but he's actually lazy. Ow, I hit my ear. Um, he's in the painter career, and he's actually married to Yvonne, who, pretty freaking awesome. Do you guys know what's their names? Um, Jasmender and um, the townies that are pregnant. I don't know. I don't remember what his name is, but it's their kid. And she turned out so freaking gorgeous that I had to have them get married. So Jackson's married. They actually have a kid together. Let's see if I can show you in the family tree. Um, yes. Jackson is married to Yvonne. I don't know why it's not loading. And they have a son, Eddie. And Yvonne's parents are... I'll show you if it loads. I can't show you, but they're married. She turned out gorgeous. They have a son now. I want them to have another kid, so I'll probably go play them soon. But, um, if you guys remember, is she done? Is she out? 
Oh, nope. Voila. Here she is. This is Josephine. If you guys remember her, I believe she was a teen when you guys last saw her. Oh, there we go. Look how beautiful she turned out. She's actually my main heir, even though I'm still going to play the other some. She's my main focus. Um, she has the bodybuilder aspiration. She's only one fourth there, but we'll get there. We'll get there. And she's actually in the detective career, so she's level uh, one. Yeah, she just started. Uh, she's actually been an adult, though, for a while. But I have it on, like, pause so they won't age because I want to play them out a little bit more. Um, so, so I'm doing her skills are pretty high in the charisma and fitness. Well, they're halfway there. Um, and her relationships. Now, she's had a heck of a ride, I will say. So where should I start with that? As you can see, she's kind of all over the place. So, um, she, when she was a teenager, she met a few guys that she was possible interest, and their names were Ruby and, like, some other dude named, like, Hamel or something, Ham, something, I don't know, something weird. But, um, they never ever became something serious. But her serious love of her life as a teenager was... Rush, Rush, Rashid, Rashad, I don't know. They, they were in love. Uh, they definitely were. She, he was the, like her first love. And um, as you can see, they broke up. They broke up because she just didn't feel it was right. She was meeting other love interests and realized if she was interested in other people, they weren't going to work. So they broke up. And um, she ended up kind of playing the fields a little bit, looking around. She met a few other guys. Then she became interested in Clayton, but um, Clayton is actually married to a man. And um, But they, they went on a few dates. And uh, as you can see, they're still romantic interests, which I'm going to have to like cool that off with them. Even though they're not doing anything now, it just still says that they are. So they had a few things, but then she met um, Judah. And... Um, she just hit it off with Judah, and so she stopped talking to Clayton, which was good because he was married, so they probably shouldn't have been doing it anyways. But her and Judah, like, they, like, they hit it off, I would say. Um, I want to give him a job. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? Mm, I don't think so. Sun and sin, what does that mean? I don't know, and I'm afraid to. I think it just means they'll come. But um, they've been dating now for a while. Uh, they're still not soulmates yet. I'm trying to get them there because I want him to propose because I really like that they're going to get married. The, this is her final man. Like, this is it, guys. So she played the field quite a bit, um, but she's finally happy with her little boy, Judah. And, yes, yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, but... And last but not least, we have Emily here, the youngest of the family. <laughs> oh, bless me. Okay, because no one else would say it. <laughs> so here she is. She's actually sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and wake her up real quick. And I'm actually going to have her come over here and um, use this. Um, this is Emily. You guys may remember her as a baby or a kid. I don't remember what you saw of her last. But this is what she looks like now. She's pretty darn cute, I will say. Um, she is a renaissance sim. She's in level one of the biology career. She just aged up the other night. I'd say about two sim days ago. She's working on her logic. Um, these are her, like, oh, here's Yvonne. Maybe it'll load. There she is. Look how pretty she turned out. But, um... So she's actually, she only had one interest in her life, and it was actually a pretty complicated one for that fact. So um, he's actually in the household right now, and I'm going to have to explain it. And you all might not like it, but that's okay. It's my game, and I, I'm, I'm playing the drama out. Eric, um, I don't want to show you um, what it says under their relationship stuff, because it's, it's, it's a lot. So let's start here. So she met Eric from family, and I'll explain how she met them through family, and um, 
she met him and they were actually uh, friends for uh, her eyes. Oh my god, they were friends for a while. And then they realized they started to have feelings for each other and this complicated things because of how they knew each other. So, if you guys know Axel, Axel is her brother. And Axel lived with her for a while until she started having a family. Then he moved out and got married to Anya. Um, and um, I don't know if you guys know Anya, but let me see if I can find Axel. Is he not in her list of friends? That's weird. They haven't talked in a while, which kind of breaks my heart. I really need them to talk. So Axel's her brother. They used to be best friends. I don't know what happened. They got busy, but he's married to Anya. And um, Anya already had a child, a child, but they got married and they had a baby. And um, that baby happened to be Eric. And you would be thinking, ew, okay, like her kid and her brother's kid together. But you have to keep in mind, biologi like um, blood-wise, biologically-wise, they're not related because Emily is adopted. And I know that's still not right, but they knew it wasn't right. But they fell in love with each other and they didn't know what to do about it and they kept trying to stay away from each other but their feelings just kept colliding back to each other and they they thought it out and they're like listen we're not genetically going to do anything wrong because we're not genetically the same and it's still wrong but they couldn't help each other and um they fell in love and they actually just got married tonight um now their parents were not so fond of the idea and I also feel like that's half the reason her and um, her brother haven't been talking much because it caused a lot of strain and stress and Axel is not as fond of this current situation. Um, he'll accept them but he's not as fond of it and he won't fully accept it. But Cammy, obviously she didn't like it at first, she's like it's wrong, but um, she saw how much her daughter loved him and let her do her thing. So, um, as you can see, if I go over there, now she's actually really close, he's, they're not, he's not that close with his parents, more Anya, um, this is his stepsister, Billy, and, uh, but if I show you guys, if I go over Emily, it says, lover, spouse, cousin, best friends, and soulmates, it's twisted, but I kind of like it, I couldn't, I tried to see if I liked it with anyone else, and I just didn't, so they got married, so it's, um, he actually aged up to a young adult before her, so they, they took, they couldn't, well, I mean, they could do romantic things, because I will not, but, um, that's how I let them have romantic stuff, but, um, when she aged up into a young adult, she asked him to marry him, because she's all like, now that, um, I'm legally age-wise, they wanted to get married right away, because they've been together since, like, 15, so, um, yeah, like, just look how cute they are, like, you can't deny the cuteness. Like, I freaking love them. So, she's like, oh. So they're married. They moved in. Um, they just moved in until they find a place of their own. Because she's still young. She's probably like 21. So she's really young. Um, and she's married. But, um, they're going to live here until they find a place of their own. So, I just, they're so cute to me. I don't know. Okay, Penny, go to sleep. Who is sleeping in your bed? Oh, honey, and she's not even wearing clothes. Okay, you need to get out of my screen real quick and run to your bed. <laughs> okay. Go to your bed over here. And then Penny... Okay, you need to ask... Oh, Jackson's here. Okay, well, you need to ask him to leave. And then um, you can go to sleep. And then... These two flirty bugs. Did you guys not cut the wedding cake? Oh my god, can we cut the wedding cake? Ignore her little bum. Um, okay, cut the wedding cake. You guys never cut it. What the heck? It's your wedding night. Come on. Cut the wedding cake. Okay, bye Jackson. It was nice knowing you. I mean, he's gonna come back. Obviously, but... I'm trying to get this to go where I want it to go. Come cut the wedding cake, please. Is she gonna do it now? 
it's your wedding night. It's time to have some cake. She's really inspired. Aww. We want a cutie. Okay, she's coming back over. She's coming back. She's coming back. Okay, they're gonna have some cake. Aww. Do I want them to have a baby now? Or is it too soon? I think it's too soon. I'm just gonna have them go woohoo their little hearts out. And then I'll probably end this episode. I don't think I have anything else to catch you guys up on. I'm curious, though. Did their baby age up yet? Because I want to see that cutie pie. I don't think he has. Come on. Load the pictures. Yes, okay. So there's Yvonne. They're married. Oh, their son. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Look at their house, though. Like, I have all these cute little stuff from their, like, Look, these are drawings that Jackson made when he was a kid, and, like, he has a kid. Oh, my God, they're naked. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to edit that out. Ugh. Ugh, I'm going to have to edit that out. If you're wondering why I have that in my game, it's because I just personally like... Okay, not that it... That makes it sound weird, but, um, I don't know. It's, it, I like it more than having, like, the, the sensor things. They just irritate me a lot, so deal with it, okay? And, look, okay, they have all their little... Let me turn on the light, because you guys can't even see this. Um, turn on all lights. Sure. Look at they have all their photos. <gasps> How did that get fixed? This got burned in the fire. Why isn't it burnt right now? I don't know. It's probably gonna load in a second. So before it loads the burn marks, here's a picture of them when they first started dating. That's Cammy and her son Jackson. There's some sel two same selfies of Jackson. Okay, I don't know why I have that. That was um, what's her name? Just as soon as a kid. Then we've got another one of Jackson. We love Jackson, my god. We need to add more of the other girls. Um, we've got one of uh, Josephine up there. We've got... Why is there so many duplicates? I'm going to have to fix that. I don't think we had that many. I don't know why. I don't remember doing that. Then we have one of the sisters. We've got Jackson's birth certificate. We've got um, Yvonne when she was pregnant. And we got the girls when they were little. So, I don't know why these are like a bunch of duplicates. Photographer Jackson. Photographer. Okay, let's get rid of a few of these because we don't need that many, do we now? Um, oh, I know what happened. They were in his room and then I thought there weren't any over here, so I put them over here. But I actually got a few new ones. So I got one of these guys. So we're going to hang it up here because this is going to be her forever, boo. And so I'll get rid of the rest of those. And I have one for her room, but I'll do that later. And I'm pretty sure I took a picture of... I thought I took one of that. What's her name? Oh. oh. I did. Here we go. We took one of her on her wedding day, which is basically today. So there, there she is. It's a really bad photo, but it's fine. It's fine. And so these two are... Okay. I think I'm going to end this part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed.